Yo, what's going on YouTube? I just wanted to give my final thoughts, you know, on you know the epic fight with uh, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. Man, it was a great fight. You know, what I'm saying these guys showed true grit and everything. But um, yeah, man, if you see this picture, man, it's an iconic picture. You know, uh, with the 12th round when Tyson Fury got blasted, man. You know, it's just, you know, he was warned, you know what I'm saying? He, he was warned, you know, a lot of guys, you know, told him, you know, like, don't take the fight. Don't take the fight, you know what I'm saying? Don't, not now, maybe, you know, maybe next year, maybe some other time. You know what I'm saying? Maybe some other time, you know, you, you, you have a chance. But, um... You know, uh, credit to Tyson Fury, man. He, he, you know, he was trying to be great, man. You know what I'm saying? He was shooting for greatness, man. Just like Deontay Wilder, man. He was shooting for greatness, too. And we ended up getting, like, a great heavyweight fight. Especially, like, the ending, man. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, you know, because, you, you, and it's, it goes to show, you know, to anyone else, man, you just can't be, you know, uh, sitting around on the couch, uh, you know, abusing your body and stuff like that, and and lose, what, 200 plus pounds, and, and, and think you're just going to, you know, beat uh, a heavyweight champion like Deontay Wilder, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, uh, it's just not happening, especially, like, in his own backyard and everything like that, and the two knockdowns and everything, uh, it's, it's it's not happening. Even even a, a Deontay Wilder that was injured during training camp, it, and it's 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 funny, man. You know, looking at all these interviews and everything like that. Um, I believe it was former uh boxer. Uh, Aaron Davis said it himself. He's like, man, that training cat, man, it looked kind of sketchy. It looked kind of sketchy the way Wilder was training and everything. But, I mean, the way Wilder tells it, man, he had 10 different sparring partners and everything. So, so I mean, all eyes weren't on him like 24-7, you know what I'm saying, as far as like his training and everything was concerned. He didn't complain about it. But, um... Yeah, man, you know, this this uh, lady, uh, she was a Tyson Fury fan. I saw one of the interviews on, you know, YouTube, and she said it herself. She was like, you know what, um, I, you know, it's how, how can you give Tyson Fury the win when you have the champion? He's in his own backyard, got two knockdowns, you know. I mean, how how can he lose? You know, how can he lose the fight? You know, it's like you know what I'm saying. Just out of just out of respect, man. You know what? What you know? Why would you give him the L, especially with like two knockdowns um, against the opponent in his own backyard? You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, man. Moving forward, man. You know, you got a lot of people saying that, you know, Wilder, you know, lost, you know what I'm saying? Especially, like, a lot of brothers and stuff like that. But, you know, the, on a positive note, there was a lot of brothers and sisters that thought he won, man. I just want to point these people out, man. Yeah, man, these these folks right here, who knows a little something about boxing. You see right here, man, you got Floyd Mayweather Sr., he said it was three knockdowns in the fight, man. I got to watch that fight again, man. He said it was three knockdowns. And I, I think I know which one he was talking about because uh, Fury did get hit with a punch and w went down, and it was ruled a slip. You know, he didn't get, you know, his gloves touched the canvas. And Floyd Mayweather Sr. was like, man, it was three knockdowns. It was three. It was three, just like I told y'all in the Ortiz fight, man. I was like, look, man, Wilder knocked Ortiz down with that jab, man. He hit him, and he he parried out, hit hit him with that um uh, that check like a like a short little check left hook, and Ortiz, you know, fell. You know what I'm saying? He fell, man. He went down on, on a knee, 
And the referee's like, oh, he slipped, but he didn't slip, man. He got knocked down. I was like in the second round, uh, that Luis Ortiz versus Deontay Wilder fight, man. He got knocked down three times before the knockout, but, you know. But anyway, man, you had George Foreman. You know what I'm saying? He had Wilder winning the fight. You know, big George Foreman, successful, uh, you know, boxer himself, Hall of Fame great. And, uh... If you guys don't know about the George Foreman Grill, you know, and then he's a successful businessman. Then you got uh, Nazim uh, Richardson. He said Wilder won the fight. He said, you know, because he was saying, like, the same thing I said, you know, uh, Wilder brought the fight to Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury wasn't doing anything, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying, to win the fight. Um, and he gave credit to Wilder for uh, making the fight, pressing the action. And not only that, he got the two knockdowns. So, he gave it to Wilder, you know. And we got our sister here, you know, Clarissa Shields. Uh, young and up and coming, uh, you know, female boxer, you know, Olympic gold medalist. I think two time Olympic gold medalist. Um, yeah, man, she, she, she had Wilder winning too. You know, she had Wilder win winning as well. You know, she thought he won. But, you know, the fight ended in the draw. It ended in the draw. And, you know, this, you know, keep it 100, man. When Wilder got that knockdown on the 12th, I know for sure that he didn't lose the fight. When he got that knockdown, I was like, okay. Now, the scorecard is going to be tight. But I know one thing, Wilder didn't lose. You know what I'm saying? I know, I, I know one thing, he didn't lose. Especially when he got that knockdown in the night. I was like, okay, he needed that one. He got himself a knockdown. And then we, when he got the other knockdown in the 12th, I was like, okay. Well, Wilder's good. He, he didn't lose this one. He, he couldn't have lost. Not with them two knockdowns from what I saw. You know? Because those early rounds were close. It, 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 was, just, it was nip and tuck. You know what I'm saying? It depends on what you like. Depends on what you like. And then uh, as far as like with Fury and everything, I think a lot of people were su surprised that Fury was boxing so well. You know what I'm saying? I think that I think that uh, helped him out. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as like uh, the you know public opinion and everything, because based on his last fight that he had in <laughs> September 2018, everybody was like, man, this guy's looking like sluggish and everything. You know, he's looking kind of slow. But he was playing with his opponent pretty much, you know what I'm saying? So it's hard to it was hard to assess where he was as far as like, you know, uh you know, uh conditioning and everything like that. Cause he was a little bit heavier. And then um it, his opponent wasn't really a top notch opponent or anything like that. But he was playing around having fun. And, and uh in his previous fight, uh his first fight in his comeback, he was doing the same thing, you know, just having fun in the ring and everything like that. And, um, yeah, that's probably what hurt him in, 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 the, in the Wilder fight and having a little bit too much fun, you know. But it's okay, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we have, uh, you know, a lot of uh, people in the boxing community that thought Wilder won. And, uh, you know, that's good, man. Um, another thing, man, Lennox Lewis. Let's talk about Lennox Lewis. Now, Lennox Lewis, when he said that, you know, he thought Tyson Fury won and everything like that, I can understand why some people, you know, never really liked Lennox Lewis. I, me and myself, I, I, I never really favored Lennox Lewis. A lot of people say they like liked him and stuff like that. But um, for me and myself, I, I never really, uh, you know, gravitated towards Lennox Lewis during his career. And uh, to me, you know, for, for me, he was like null and void, you know what I'm saying, as far as him being a uh, heavyweight champion. And I can understand why, you know, Lennox never really had a home, you know. Lennox Lewis never really had a home. Um, because leading up to his fight, he didn't make a pick. He just said, I don't know, you know. And then, you know, him being from Canada and then him being like so have some roots in the UK, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, what, what? He was with Canada Olympics and then he 
he won the Rep UK, and then he had he you know he had his career over in the states. You know, he he really don't have no roots. You know what I'm saying? He don't have no roots. And you're trying to build a fan base and stuff like that. You can't really come up like that. You know what I'm saying? You don't have no roots. You gotta have roots. You know, you guys probably saw the movie, right? You gotta have, you know, you know, roots. You gotta know where you come from. And he's a little bit scattered all over the place. And I, I, I see why, you know, when you see him in interviews and stuff like that, he pretty much, you know, it's kind of like off on his own. You know? It's kind of off on his own. Which is not a bad thing, you know what I'm saying? Eagles soar alone, you know what I'm saying? Eagles soar alone and stuff like that. But you don't see too many people, uh, you know, um, he, he doesn't have a, uh, uh, how would you say, a, uh, entourage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this look like he has a little entourage when hit with him when he shows up and stuff like that. But like I said, you know, Eagles soar alone, Eagles soar alone, it's okay. But, um... Yeah, if anything, man, I, I you would have thought Linus Lewis would be like, man, I thought Wilder won and stuff like that. I mean, he, it was him, you know, uh, in the park a lot and everything, trying to show him a jab and everything like that. It was only one session, but you would have think you would have thought Wilder would have took taken something from him, and uh, Linus Lewis would have been, you know, with Wilder just based on that, you know, um, and him saying like, oh, I think he was a bit exposed. I'm like, man, weren't, weren't you trying to teach him some 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 lessons or something like that? Whatever happened to that, you know? And you want to try to teach him how to jab and stuff? So uh, I think I would have held my tongue on that one, you know, with him. You know, it's video footage of uh, him, you know, teaching Deontay Wilder a few tri tricks and everything like that. So anyway, um... Finishing off on a positive note, man. Um, yeah, we have some people out there, man, you know, in the boxing community, you know, professional boxers, man, that actually, you know, pour a lot of love on uh, Wilder and stuff like that, man. You know, they poured a lot of love on Wilder, and and they and, and they, they said it loud, man. They said, they said it loud and proud, you know what I'm saying? They said it loud and proud, you know, Wilder won that fight, and... I'm gonna end it here, man. You know that's 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 how I feel, man. I feel Wilder really won that fight, man. But one thing I know for sure, he didn't lose. So when in doubt, uh, a draw is okay, man. I guess you know a draw is okay. You know what I'm saying? A draw is okay. But let's 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 see, let's see it again, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's see it again. Um. If not, man, Wilder, you know, he, he needs to stay busy uh, as, soon, as soon as possible next year, man. You know what I'm saying? As, as soon as possible, he needs to hop back up in the ring. You know, after, you know, uh, you know he recovers and everything like that. You know, enjoy his Christmas or whatever. You know, bring in a new year. Start fresh. But uh, with that said, let me know what you think, man. Let me know what you think. About the uh, individuals who selected, you know, Wilder, you know, as the winner of that fight. In their, in their opinion, we know what the official uh, outcome was. It was a draw, okay? A sanctioned body, they had the referees, the judges, you know what I'm saying? You know, the sanctioned body, you know, they, they did their thing and everything like that. And uh, they had three judges in the ring, you know, the referee and everything like that. Um, it was out of our hands, you know what I'm saying? The bot, the bot, the fighters fought, and they left it to the judges. You know what I'm saying? The fighters left it to the judges, and the judges ruled, and he said it was a draw. But let me know what y'all think about Nassim Rich Richardson, uh, Clarissa Shields, uh, Floyd Mayweather Sr., and George Foreman. Like I said, with George Foreman, his statements was via Twitter. If you want to find find his opinion, um. Floyd Mayweather Senior, you could probably fight him on like uh you probably you could probably can find his statement on like a uh, um uh, on YouTube like fight hype or or whatever like that. Uh, same with Nassim Richardson and uh, Clarissa Shields. All right, man, I catch y'all later. Bye.